Welcome to Busted Speakers, this is Kush, and this is another episode of the Concept Breakdown. So, this is the first episode I'm trying a webcam out, see if you guys like it, not really sure if we're going to be into it, but I'm always going to try new things, and I think it'd be a kind of a more engaging thing for you guys. This episode is going to be on my experience at the Post Malone concert that was at my university a couple days ago. So, if you don't know who Post Malone is, Post Malone is a rapper, artist, He's made a ton of different, ton of different types of music. It doesn't really stick to, doesn't really fit in one genre. Kind of just explores all around. Um, but he mainly does rap music. That's what he's known for. He has released only one album so far called Stony, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it initially. Um, I felt like it was missing something. It didn't have the congruency of a full album. It just wasn't. It just wasn't a full, complete project. Although there were some things on the album that I did like, like his style, his voice, the catchiness of some of the songs, there was something missing and I was not the biggest fan of that album. On the other hand, I actually like Post Malone as a person. I've seen him on some of h 3 hes videos and he's a goof, he's a fun guy, he just loves what he's doing and you can tell it comes out in his music too. That being said, I mainly went for the personality, I'm not really, I mean the music was always important to me but I think I just want to experience what a Post Malone concert would be like because I expect it to be just fantastic. So the university throughout, the university had a couple weeks ago release it, some information about this free concert called the Spring Jam. Um, and Post Malone was headlining it and they had some, they had a opening act DJ Matrix who was just one local, I believe local DJ at the, at the university. He's just some student that goes here and they got him to perform before Post Malone went up. I, like I said previously, it was, it was done at university in the main quad. So we, we arrived there about 40 minutes early. We wanted to get up close. We want, I want to get some good footage of it, which I'll be putting throughout this video. And there are already tons of people there. I would say at a couple thousand people, I go to, I go to university of 40,000 students. So I think a couple thousand, one to two thousand people were there at this free concert. So the concert was also in about 70, 80 degree weather. So it was kind of hot out there. It was sunny, loud, tons of people. So it got really hot and we were all sweating. Plus I ended up wearing jeans and uh, like a long sleeve t-shirt for no reason whatsoever. And it was hot. And so the concert gets going and then uh, the people who are running the show come onto the stage. Uh, they announced DJ Matrix is gonna be on stage. As I said before, he's a local university mate DJ. And he's, he puts on his playlist, which is a bunch of just rap bangers, you know, got your Yachty's, your Uzi's, your Drake, a little bit Kendrick Lamar, but people weren't too hyped to listen to that. Ultimately, it just was a whole bunch. It was just like just a Spotify Kurt best hip hop song playlist. He was a pretty decent DJ. I mean, I, I'm not really sure what being a DJ entails. He didn't do much other than just play the music. He did bring with him some a couple of hype men who were on stage dancing. They're throwing T-shirts, beach balls, just getting the crowd involved. And the crowd initially started off pretty they started off pretty hyped, they're really rough, just dancing, it was a bit, a bit of moshing, not too much. Um, people were going going in. But then he played Broccoli by Dram and Yachty and everyone died out and they never really picked back, picked back up after that. Even when they picked songs, played songs like T-Shirt and Bad and Bougie by Migos, it just, it just never really picked up after that. That went on for about an hour and 
it was it was a good time. I, I mean, personally, me, I love getting into the concert vibe, dancing, and just going in. But I could see how it could get boring because it's not really anyone performing. It's just someone playing music, and you're just trying to dance. So obviously, at a college campus, there's going to be a lot of alcohol, drugs. So there was this lady who was, I would say, 50 to 60 years old, short, white, high hair, on weed patrol. And obviously, there's a ton of weed there. just everywhere. You could smell it. You could see it. Grant, granted, this show was at 2 p.m., so it'd be a little early for weed. Um, also, why would you smoke weed? In, I'm in Illinois, so it is illegal here currently. And it doesn't make sense why you would smoke weed in such a public place. Oh, the sun's out. That's nice. Um, anyways, uh, the, like I said, it doesn't make sense why you would smoke weed in a public place, especially at 2 p.m., when you can see the clouds coming out of your mouth. So this lady was on weed patrol. She was dragging people out, like just grabbing their arms and just pulling them out of this, the crowd. And I'm assuming those people got charged since weed is a is a illegal drug in Illinois. And it just doesn't seem like a smart idea to be doing there. But regardless, like I don't have a problem with it. Like I don't have a problem with you guys smoking or people smoking. It's just also it was a bit annoying at the concert because it's all you could smell and it doesn't smell that good. Uh, a bit. The concert goes on. DJ Matrix is bit, overstaying his welcome a little bit. I'm pretty sure he's just covering because Post Malone doesn't have as a big lineup set up because obviously he only has a handful of songs that he really plays at concerts. Uh, these douchey frat guys behind me are screaming and yelling and they're just like, get the fuck off the stage. We want Post Malone. Do something. You're so useless. Uh, so then DJ Matrix does eventually leave hits the pause button and the music stops and there's a bit of time for between them and Post Malone coming on so these douchey frat guys in the back are again screaming hey play, press the play button that's all you gotta do you fucking retard and they're being real annoying real rude about it and I was I was from my side just ye yelling shut the fuck up because university puts on a free concert for you obviously these are all students pre students preparing it and they have other things going on too they're not doing this for any sort of money this is them just as an interest doing this concert for other students and so the least you can do is appreciate what they're doing obviously it's not gonna be perfect um it got to the point where someone turns around and just punches one of those guys in the face and all his friend all his other frat friends were like oh my god what the hell is that for and the, uh, the guy who punched him just turns back around and just continues looking at the stage uh they take the the, the frat guys all leave before the postman even comes on i guess they're just mad or whatever um but honestly, they deserved it. Don't be an asshole to people who are performing for free here. Um, eventually, Post Malone's DJ does come on stage. He's like, we're going to get you guys all turned up before Post Malone comes on. You about to turn this shit the fuck on. Yo, Post, what's up? And he plays the obvious more rap bangers, Drake's fake love and bad and bougie and such. And we're all getting hyped. Post finally comes on and he comes to the I think I believe the verse or the chorus of White Iverson, not the full song though. Slowly, slowly, slowly. to get people excited you know his most popular song he also makes a joke that uh a lot of people come up to him and say hey i love white inversion which is 
I've seen people do that. It's pretty pretty dumb that you can't even get the name right, even though you want to come and say, oh, you're my favorite musician or whatnot. Um, so he starts off playing with some of his more album songs, I Fall Apart and Go Flex. Uh, some like some of the more uh, some of the other songs not his singles then he plays deja vu with obviously a song he made with justin bieber which is a pretty decent song uh, I think I appreciate his music in a new light now ever since seeing him live. He's such a humble person. He doesn't like brag about much. He's just like, yeah, I'm in this rap game. I'm doing what I love. And I can't really do much more than that. Uh, he did play his new song off of the Fast and Furious 8 soundtrack, which is a really shit soundtrack. Uh, I, I didn't catch, I didn't listen to the song besides that concert. I'm not really a big fan of that soundtrack or the things I've heard from the soundtrack. But it was pretty decent. I, I didn't have any serious problems other than like it's a more generic rap song. Um, then he does play White Ivers in the full song, which is which got the crowd just going. They're getting hyped in there. And it's a lot of fun for everyone involved. It's just everyone's just going crazy. Lastly, to finish off, he plays Congratulations, which is his most popular song and probably my favorite song. It's, just, it's so catchy. It's so much fun. It's a great vibe to it. And people are going crazy and they've got like, they've got their hands in the air and they're throwing things, they're throwing t-shirts and shoes and I'm pretty sure a bra on stage with Post Malone. Let go. And he's just having a good time and he ends the concert with just him just saying wow thanks dude you guys are just really humbling and it, it really does mean a lot to me that you guys come out here and listen to my music. I, I, he says that he never thought that anyone would be listening to his music. And he has, and honestly, the best thing from it is he has a lot of passion with what he does. He loves what he does, and you can't knock him for that. He, he's a pretty solid musician. He's not the worst. Regardless of my stance on his music, it was still a fun concert, especially being in the crowd of 2,000 college students and just dancing and going crazy and nodding your head. It, it was a great experience. Uh, there was one point when someone tried to crowd surf. Um, didn't really work because the guy was like 170, 80 pounds, I assume. And he just was kind of like flopping around trying to... And they were trying to make him crowd surf. It just didn't work out for him. The only complaint I have that the show was kind of short, but that's understandable because Post Malone only has a handful of songs. He's not very popular. It's his first album. And he got, a, he got very popular off his first album. So his show was a bit short, about 45 minutes or so. But even regardless, it was still a fun concert. There were a lot of great things and a lot of great people, and me and my roommate really enjoyed it. Um, my throat was fucking dry right after that. I was singing so loud, and you know, I, I'm a completely different person. Like normally, I'm much, I'm very introverted, very quiet person. But at concerts, I guess the the vibe infects me, and I just go crazy. And it's a, it's just something that I enjoy doing. So those are my thoughts on this this concert. 
Uh, let me know what else you guys want to see. I'll obviously be doing more of these as I go to more concerts, but this is more of a this is more of an infrequent one-off sort of series that we're doing. Thanks for tuning in to Busted Speakers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let us know what you think about the webcam, especially in the comments below. Let us know if there's something you want to switch up, if there's something you want me to add. Obviously, I'm working on getting a better camera and mic, but I'm not making any money off of YouTube right now, especially with what's going on recently. And I don't have the money right now to just afford a new mic and cam. So this is what's going to be, this is what I'm going to work with right now. But honestly, just thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And make sure you check us out on social media.